Let's review the metrics that are commonly used in comparable company analysis. We always have to factor in the industry and the life cycle of the company when we're picking the multiples that are appropriate. Generally speaking, we've already covered the main multiples, so let's review what they are. Let's start with enterprise value multiples. These are used when we want to value the entire business. At the top of the income statement, we've got EV to sales. Moving down a bit further, we've got EV to EBITDA. And down still further, we've got EV to EBIT. Recall that sales, EBITDA, and EBIT are all before interest on in the income statement, and hence their enterprise value multiples. Conversely, we've got equity value multiples like price to earnings, price to book value, and price to cash flow. Generally speaking, the earlier stage the business is, the higher up in the income statement you're going to be for your denominator. So EV to sales is very commonly used with early stage companies, whereas PE, earnings being at the bottom of the income statement, is used with more mature, later stage companies that have steady earnings. Let's look at an example of a comps table that's been completed. So here we have some companies that are listed on the left. The company names are followed by market data. This section includes the company's share price, its market capitalization, and its enterprise value. That's typically followed by financial data. And financial data includes what we need for the ratios. So it's our revenue or sales, EBITDA, and earnings in this example. Then we can take the numerator, which is the market data, divided by the denominator, which is the financial data, and we get our valuation ratios. Below that, you'll notice there's an average and a median. The average and the median are likely what will be used to value the company that's in question. We'll take those multiples and multiply them by the financial data for the company we're trying to value to arrive at the equivalent of the market data for the company we're trying to value. In the coming sections, we're going to build a table like this together in Excel step by step.